this is road to 81. As a believer, how do you treat people? How do you treat fellow believers? Do you treat them the way Jesus treats them? There are some people who treat others in an unchristlike manner. Are you one of them? Here is how some believers treat others. There are people that deal with their fellow brothers and sisters as if they had no feeling. They can ill treat them, they can shout on them, they can beat them, they can discipline them, they can tear them apart, they can break their branches, they can do a lot of things on these people because they feel that they are just like trees. They see men like trees walking. They do not know that our brothers and sisters, they do not know that these members of the church, they too, they are feeling that if you talk to somebody in a rude manner, he has feeling. If when you want to come to the church and the person has uh, no transportation and uh, you say, please uh, stay, get down first. Let the people that have uh, money for transportation, let them get in. And a human being made in the image of God is made to stand there watching at people like this, members of the same family of God members of the same church is watching them and when they have all entered the vehicle is not filled up yet and the man or the woman is standing there and saying can i enter now where is your money but i told you i've not been working for the last six months you've not been working for the last six months and hey, stay your bible go and read bible at home you want to go to church with us in this vehicle money and since there's no money this uh, person will lock the door and tap uh, the vehicle and say, move on. And the brother is standing there saying, my brother, he'll look away and say, if you don't behave like a real soldier who hasn't any feeling for people, these people, they will not bring any money. They just come to the bus stop and say, I want to go to church, I want to go to church, I want to go to church. Who will pay when everybody is coming to church without any money in their hand? Go. And then the brother is saying, brother, don't do like this in the name of Jesus and uh, uh, name of Jesus. This is not the name of Jesus. Stay there. You will not go to church today. And we are members of the same family. And we are children of God. And we are brothers and sisters together. We don't know that other people have feeling. We cannot suffer for them. And other people there that still have money in their pocket, they cannot say, brother, let him come in. I will pay for him. There's money in the pocket. We leave that man in the cold, in the rain, in the sun there, in the dark there. We say, let us go. If they don't have money, maybe they have money and they are not bringing the money out. Is this the way to deal with people? Is this the way we are going to be dealing with ourselves? We must change. Men are not trees. They have feeling. When we talk to them, we must know that there is a way that they feel. They feel. Jesus saw people in the eyes of faith. He saw people by what they can become, not what they are at that present time. Because of that, he pitied people. He had compassion on people. He loved people. When Jesus saw the oppressed, he had pity on them. When he saw the demonized, the demon-possessed people, he did not react to them in fear. He did not react to them with suspicion. He did not react to them with brutality. He just saw people. He saw people made in the image of God. And he cared for them. This is saddening. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Treat others the way Jesus will treat them. Let's become more like Jesus Christ. God bless you.